somebody in his life. We all do. Look for people who have been on this road a lot longer than you have and learn from them. Maybe be a mentor to someone. Paul's time is small, but his faith is big. He's not afraid of death. You can tell that he views it as this ultimate rescue from this life. And as he told Timothy in the first chapter, he knows who he's believed. He's not worried about anything. He's more than confident that Jesus is going to rescue him, even in death. But there's another reason that he's saying this to him. And he says, Timothy, you know what I went through? You know what I'm going through. And you need to know that I'm not a special case. It's not just because I'm the Apostle Paul that this is happening to me. This isn't some isolated event. He says, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Now that's not what you put on a, you know, you send out cards to visitors or inviting people to church. That's not what you put on there. You don't put that verse on a Christmas card. But he keeps reminding them him of this all throughout this letter because he doesn't want him to be surprised. He doesn't say, Timothy, you might be persecuted. He said one day, he doesn't say one day you could be persecuted, so just watch out for that. It's probably not very likely, but it could happen. He said you will be. Everyone who wants to live a godly life will be persecuted. But Paul had figured out the secret to that, to going through it. And it's all in that little preposition. And I think a lot of times we try to get through our lives on our own, try to go through our own power, we don't involve anybody else because we can take care of it ourselves. But it says everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus. It's all about your position. Are you trying to do it through yourself or are you trying to do it through him? Because it's only in Christ that we can do anything. It's only through yielding to his spirit that we can do anything. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you've been trying to do it on your own for far too long. And this morning it's time for you to surrender to Jesus and it's time for you to let him do the work through you. The big idea is pretty simple this morning. It's just this. It's one way, fo one way followers of Jesus can keep the faith is by following godly examples in the midst of an ungodly world. There's all kinds of examples in this world. Choose who you want to follow. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you that uh, Paul's just told us how it is, Lord, so that we're not surprised. Lord, I pray that we can look out in the world, and even though sometimes it seems like it's falling down around us, I pray that, uh, I pray that you will help us to see that you're still on the throne and that you're still in control and that we can trust and have hope in that. I pray all this in Jesus' name, amen. If everyone would please stand, we're going to have our invitation time. And if you've got a public decision to make this morning, we invite you to come forward. If you need prayer, we'd love to pray with you.